Before we get into the Stormer Elite review, I want to thank BFPgear.com for sponsoring this video. They really kind of help make these things possible with their support. You can head over there right now and pick up a Stormer or Stormer Elite. They're shipping stuff right now, real fast. BFPgear.com, or I also known as Black Friday Paintball. So the Tittman Stormer Elite, this paintball gun we're about to review, is definitely not Tittman's only magazine-fed gun. They've actually got three more of these things. They have the Tittman TIPX, which is a pistol. I think the TIPX pistol's been out maybe about 10 years. Really, if anyone's using a pistol at this point, they're probably gonna be using that TIPX. Uh, they're extremely popular. They're really reliable, they work well, uh, they're built well. There's a ton of cool upgrades. I mean, you can get different barrels for them. There's different body kits and you can make them shoot first strike. All kinds of stuff, they're very popular. And then there's also the TCR, which is kind of like a rifle version of that TIPX. It has the same internals as the TIPX, so it's gonna shoot really similar. It takes the same magazines, and then a lot of those upgrades that are available for the TIPX, you can also put inside the TCR. Then in late 2016, Tipman released the TMC. And the TMC is really Tipman's like first mass market mag fed gun, we'll say. I mean, yeah, they had the TIPX and the TCR, but those guns are like weird looking. And the TMC is the first gun that looked Gunish, we'll say it looks like that AR-15 platform. And it's also based on the Tipman Kronos. So rather than like make a whole new paintball gun, what they did with the TMC was just take the Tipman Kronos and then make it rather feed from the top. They just kind of cut a hole in the bottom and then just made paintballs feed from the bottom through a magazine rather than through a traditional hopper through the top. And you can probably also already tell that these Tittman Stormer Elites are also based on that Kronos. And I like that. So I am a big fan of that Tittman Kronos. I really like these grip frames. I really like the internals. They're very reliable based on the Tittman 98. That 98's been in service for like 20 years and is used all over the world because of their reliability. So I'm a fan of the Kronos and really like how they're based in the TMC uh, and the Tittman Stormers on the Kronos internal parts. So that's kind of weird, right? Like why are they having all of these guns kind of based on the same thing? Well, the Tipman TMC at $250 is gonna be a little bit more money than these Tipman Stormer Elites. At the Stormer Elite price under $200, I kind of think that's why Tipman's done it, right? I think that they wanted to have a good offering and a good mag fed gun at that sub $200 price. At this point, without counting the Stormer Elite, there's only, I think, two good and expensive mag fed guns. There's the Tipman TMC, and then there's the Planet Eclipse MG100. There are some other options in there, like the MR6100s, or I should say, sorry, the MR6100. MR6, only MR6? I don't know what MR6100 is. MR6, you can find those things for about $130, I think, now. There's also the Modern Combat Solutions MCS Rap 4 guns, but both of those, those MR6 Spiders or the Modern Combat Solution guns, are pretty terrible. And I really only think there's two good mag-fed guns that are inexpensive that are you know, worth buying right now, not counting this Stormer Elite thing, the Tipman TMC and the MG100. And I think the goal with Tipman was to make this gun under $200 to kind of fit into that like better affordable price. And I also feel like they made it look different on purpose. So the Tipman TMC definitely has that real AR-15 gun look going on, whereas these Stormer Elites don't. I mean, it looks like a real gun, but it's not like, you know, gunish looking, I don't know, future-y maybe? Paint, may, maybe it's just more like a paintball gun. And just like I've been saying this whole time, these Stormer Elites are based on the Kronos. So they're gonna have a lot of similarities, right? And this grip frame or this trigger frame are gonna be very, very similar. I was always a big fan of the Kronos grip frames, really liked them, just think they're really comfortable. And then also liked them on the TMC, but I think I even like them more on the Stormer Elite. So I play with these speedball guns all the time, so I don't really like the finger grooves on the trigger frame. So I like on the Stormers how they're just flat. I feel like I can get a better grip on it, and I just, I don't think they're really comfortable. So I really like the grip frames, and really like the ergonomics of the Stormer Elites. I really like how they included this foregrip with it. They've not done that in the past with the Tipman gun, so I like how they're including the removable and adjustable foregrip. You can loosen the two screws on the side, and then move that back and forth all along that bottom rail if you want. That foregrip's kinda narrow. I really like that narrow feel. Uh, just lets me get a good grip on the thing. So I really like the ergonomics and the way the Stormer Elite feels. You can move that foregrip back and forth because the Stormer Elite on that handguard does have that Picatinny slash Weaver rail on the bottom of that thing. So it'll allow you to attach all kinds of different attachments. You could put like a lasers on there, you could put like a grenade launchers, all kinds of stuff on that Weaver rail. And then it's also on the top so you could put scopes and sights and all kinds of different rails on top as well. You could take this handguard off really by pressing the button on the side and the handguard just slides off the front. So you don't even have to use this. You could have this detached at all times if you want. 
And also on the top of this thing, you have Tipman's flip up sights. So these flip up sights are very nice. They're made very well. They click down into place really good. They flip up really quick. They're just really good. Tipman sells these things, I think for $50 individually. Uh, I'm looking at my notes, but I don't even see my notes if I actually wrote down a price for those things. So I'm not really sure, but I like them. They're coming also on the TCR. Uh, Tipman's flip up sights included with the Stormer Elite. They're really nice. And then all the way on the back of this thing, we have a six position classable stock. Uh, and it's a stock, you know, you just move it in. It can stop in six different spots. You can make it longer and shorter and it's a stock. Stormer Elite is also taking the same magazines as the TMC, and those TMC magazines are made very, very well. They're constructed to last, and I will probably outlast most other paintball products. They're just made really well. I think the Dye Dam magazines and these Tipman TMC slash Stormer Elite mags are the best in the business. And there's a very good magazine push button release on the right side of this gun. You just push that button real quick, Real easy, magazine falls out, and it's also really easy to reload or insert magazines as well. And you can see these things are pretty much all nylon as well. So there's not a lot of aluminum parts. So the body's all nylon, that handrail, hand guard I should probably say, the trigger frame, all that stuff is all gonna be nylon. And that's okay though, because these nylon parts on these guns are extremely durable. I think we've seen that through time with these Kronos guns. The Tipman Kronoses are also made of that same material and just hold up. I mean, we've been selling the things now for like seven or eight years, somewhere in there, and I have never seen one broken or have an issue because of the nylon. The only time we see stuff broken is because people are like, you know, breaking stuff because they're idiots. So the nylon, they're not like all aluminum, like the TMC does have the aluminum body, but I don't think that really matters. I actually really like this nylon stuff. So don't like fret about it being like aluminum versus nylon, it's not a big deal. One of the things that I like the most about the Tipman TMC is you can take off the magazine and put on a regular hopper, and you can do the same thing on the Storm Elite. So it's really easy to do that conversion. You just take off this little like panel or cover on the side and then put on the elbow and then you could put hopper on top of that. You do have to replace the magazine though with a dummy magazine. And I don't know if I'm gonna have actually like footage of me doing this because I had to give back my Stormer Elite and then now we're in coronavirus lockdown I don't have one. So I don't know if there's gonna be B-roll right here or not. If there is, there is. So now you have that dummy magazine on there and hopper and elbow, and you just have a normal paintball gun, right? You don't have to use magazines anymore. You can just use that regular 200 round hopper on that thing. But you can only use both, right? You can't have paintballs in the magazine and paintballs in the hopper. You either have to use magazine, or hopper, and you kinda gotta decide before you go play. So it's cool, I like that because of that versatility. But I think if I were to use this thing, it would be magazine fed, right? Because if you're gonna buy a gun that takes magazines, I mean, you'd, you know, you might as well use the magazines, right? But I don't like all this extra stuff, right? Like I don't really need that handguard on there. I don't really care if I have the like foregrip. I don't really care if I have a stock. So what I would do is actually remove the handguard or this handrail, get rid of the stock, just use normal tank and just use it like this. I like this setup. It's the same way I would use the Die Dam. It's the same way that I would use the MG100. I really like this like small streamlined mag fed gun setup because I don't need a stock. I don't need all this nonsense on the thing. I just wanted to shoot paintballs out of the magazine. So that's the Tipman Stormer Elite review. I really like these things. I'm a huge fan of the Tipmans because of their super reliability, extreme durability, fantastic warranty. They just keep on working. They're priced really well. Tipman Stormer Elite, go buy one if you want to play Magfid.